Hey Youbers, Vivian here with a video tutorial. Uh, I want to share with you today a little bit of a collection from Sizzix called Life Made Simple. And as you can see, the um, collection comes with these beautiful dies. This one is 659758 and it's called Overall Patterns. So you get that beautiful honeycomb, which is the one I'm going to be working with, it's the 4 by 6 inch size. And you also get two smaller uh, wafer thin dies that are three inch by four inch. So these are perfectly sized for those of you guys who like to do project life. And I've made a couple of cards using these dies um, to make uh, really clean dry cards. But today I'm going to do something wet. And um, one trick I've learned along the way is to insert a little piece of wax paper between these delicate die cuts. Um, and your cardstock. It really, that one little step makes it so much easier to extract your die cut once you send it through your manual die cut machine. So I'm sending it through my Sizzix Big Shop. And another thing that I just have made into a habit is with these more intricate dies, just going through twice to make sure I get all the, all the nooks and crannies. And it has these little ejection holes, and you can stick a little stylus in there. And look how easily it pulls out. I actually really liked the way it looked having some of those uh, hexagon pieces in there. So I just left a little random smattering of um, hexagons. So you can see, you know, sending it through your big shot once and then back for good measure, um, you get a really bold die cut here and I can see how it make, would make a really nice accent to your Project Life pages if you do Project Life. I'm actually going to make a card today and I decided to make this honeycomb golden and I'm going over the top surface with some watermark ink. This is from Clear Snap and that's going to make it very sticky. And This is some gold embossing powder also from Clear Snap and I'm going to pour that on there on top of a piece of newspaper and I'm really not worried about losing any because I'm just going to um, tip off the excess and pat it down again if I didn't if I missed some places but I'm not being too careful about it and see I just pour it all back into the container it came in if you guys aren't familiar with heat embossing it's really fun um, it adds a, a nice sheen Actually, they're all different types of embossing powders you can get, but this one has a beautiful golden sheen. And you want to set a heat tool on, on your cardstock here, and you can see the embossing powder transforms into this beautiful gold sheen. I wasn't too careful about it, and that was sort of intentional. Um, I prefer sort of an imperfect look to most of my projects. And this is what it looks like. So very cool stuff. I love this die cut and I love that embossing powder as well, that effect. So that's going to go on top of another uh, base piece. I'm going to use some clear snap smooch spritzes in this new product called iZinc that is also distributed by clear snap. Um, I'm going to mist up my base piece with a mixture of these glues um, from Clear Snap and water and just a little smattering of black. I'm just going to tap on some of this um, acrylic pigment that comes in this fun eyedropper. This one is called Amethyst. And I'm just going to smush that around with my finger. While everything's actually still somewhat damp, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping too. And this is with some um, dye ink in a black from Colorbox. And um, the reason I'm doing it while it's wet is because I like actually to have an imperfect stamped image and for the media to run a little bit. And I just made sure to clean off my stamp after doing that. 
This is a dry surface, so I'm gonna. I decided to add some light color here. This is a another smooch spritz from Clear Snap called Gold Glow. And as you can see, um, it's a really fun, colorful effect. I actually sent this through my um, Zyron sticker machine, and um, that's a really great tool to have um, when you don't want to put glue on lots of little areas of your die kit. Clearly, this die cut has a lot of um, small areas that I didn't want to go through the trouble to add um, liquid glue to. So this saved me a lot of time. If you have little bits of that adhesive that stick around the um, curves of some of your die cut edges, what you can do is um, take some of that uh, sticky paper, one side of the sticky paper, and pat it off. I'm also going to be using today some dyes from Susan's Garden. This is a package of wafer thin dyes. It's called Leaves, Fern, and Ivy. It's number 658412. And it's a really nice assortment of leaves. It's good to use this with the magnetic platform because it keeps all your small dyes in place and you know you won't lose them. I'm also using the toolkit from Susan Garden. You guys have seen me use these before. Um, they're really uh, useful in um, creating detailed die cuts here. As you can see, I used um, the pointy stylus on that fern shape. And I actually drew in the veins using the very smallest round stylus that comes in the kit for these ivy leaves. Um, what is that tool called? Called, I believe this is called the loop tool, and this is also one of my favorite tools in the kit. So I'm, um, this is the back actually of the leaf, and I'm pressing along the edges of the back to create that curve along the outside edge of my ivy leaves. And then I'm going to take the round, uh, medium sized ball stylus and just press and move it a little bit right in the center. <laughs> And this creates a really pretty shape for my leaves. I thought about adhering these to my project Pure White, but it turned out I wanted just a little bit of color on there. And um, by adding a little bit of colored mist, it settled into the wrinkles and raised edges of the leaf shapes in a really pretty way. I hand cut a tiny little banner shape and I stamped it with the words happy day. It's going to be a birthday card for my Auntie Young soon. It's going to be a little bit late, but better late than never. Um, let's see. I added some uh, white twine that I added just a little bit of mist to. And you can see I have a softened effect with the leaves and some accentuated scoring marks. Um, because those took the media uh, a little bit more strongly. Um, I also added a few gems. The, those are from the paper studio in sort of a honeyish color. And I also added a little butterfly from another one of my favorite sets. That's Henna Butterfly 658803. And that is from the Sizzix Vintage Collection. Thanks so much for watching, and um, if you would like to see more inspiration from me, please subscribe on to my YouTube channel, that's Contadina K, and visit me all over the web. I'm Contadina K everywhere. Thanks. Bye.